Hey. Welcome to Blue Rose on Saturday night instead of uh, D&D on Murder Hobo. Although Blue Rose is not about murdering people technically, so. Technicality. Yeah, a little different than the normal realms that we're in. (laughs) And then Kyle's going to lead off the normal talk that happens because I don't know it. I don't know. I feel like maybe we should just let you do it, Caitlin. I, I like watching you sweat it out. Just get pirate dog dice. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> pirate dog dice stuff. Odd fish games. Yeah, our sponsor is Odd Fish Games because they like how odd and awkward we are. So. <laughs> and then something about you can smell the game. Adventure All right. Science. Hey, everybody. <laughs> this is Murder Hobo Inc. on Saturday nights. Tonight, we are going to be playing a little bit different game. Uh, Caitlin hinted at it as uh, Blue Bells of Sky. No, Blue. Blue... Rose. She wore an itsy bitsy Blue Rose bikini? Yes. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Okay. Anyway, but uh, you can follow us on Twitch. You can follow us on Twitter. You can take a look at our archive, which is on Twitch or also on YouTube there. If you want to shoot some shit and talk about what's going to happen in this Blue Rose game or tell us what we did wrong, because I'm sure Caitlin doesn't know that much about this game. So you can whine and complain to her on our Discord channel. Uh, if you want to get some cool RPG gifts, you know, you just got a bunch of money from your grandparents, spend it irresponsibly at our uh, uh, store, which should be listed somewhere on the screen if you're staring at us. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to uh, play in one of these one shots, we weren't, weren't probably never going to do Blue Rose after tonight because we're going to break Caitlyn one way or another or the game. We're going to break Caitlyn or the game. Caitlyn is the goal. Uh, uh, or be on our talk show. You can talk to us at Murder Hobo Inc. on Twitter or send us a uh, Gmail. Uh, our sponsors tonight are Pirate Dog Dice. Oh my gosh, we're rolling D6s and I don't have my dog poop dice. There's something wrong with this world. That's something wrong, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, but one rolling Roger. like shit, Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, and then a special thank you to our Outfish Games uh, and their Adventure Sense. If your game stinks, make it smell slightly different with Adventure Sense. Uh, and then also a shout out to their Shine uh, uh, program, Shine Project, something like that. If you're trying to write a story or come up with a D&D campaign or a Blue Rose campaign, and you just don't know what the right questions are to ask, check out Shine, their new project recently out, and it'll give you a good idea on where to start. Um, yeah, no, I think that's about it. At I this point, about Caitlin, it. Uh, uh, you would introduce people around the table, uh, but I'm going to let Caitlin do that because she's sitting in the chair. And go! Hi, Caitlin, lady. tell us about yourself and then introduce everyone else. I am sitting in a bed, technically. <laughs> that explains the bounciness. Talk about myself first. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, I've never played Blue Rose before. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat. All right, I'm going to look at these corruption of, rules. Yeah, a lot of fun and chaos. Hey, I got my screens. Oh my god, my computer's going to fall if I do that. Just kidding. Frank's going to kill you. <laughs> all these sorts of fun things. And yeah, normally I play Thursday nights with my lovely companion, David. I don't know if I'm going to point in the right direction, but you're up there. I have no idea where we are on the screen, but (laughs) yeah. So starting off with that, David, why don't you tell us about your character tonight? Okay. Tonight I will be playing Elias. Uh, He he is a Rydon, a Rye Wolf character a uh, pack leader who had lost his pack uh, due to the intrusion on to the wield and overhunting from the humanoids so see how that goes tonight <laughs> exciting and then joe you want to talk about your character uh hello i am uh, volata Kerabis. i grew up in a small village uh, overlooking the water and I spend most of my life living in my brother's shadow, attempting to pull myself out of his greatness 
and show everyone how truly wonderful my hunting skills are. Oh no, hunting skills and blue rose. And then we're gonna save the best for last. So Hannah, you wanna introduce yourself and your character? Yeah, I am playing Freya Leaf. She's a father, father child of unsuspecting humans. Um, all of her siblings that she has many of are all holy humans, so she's always felt like an outcast. Um, and she's learned to be accepting and uh, cherish education and intelligence. Oh, Hannah, you're just explaining yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I have a big family. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, talking about cherishing intelligence, Kyle, talk about yourself and your character. I I am Kyle. I am a wonderful and intelligent person and very cherished among everyone here as the uh, uh, best DM of the group, uh, not to be replaced by Joe the DM and his long flowing hair. <laughs> uh, and today I will be playing Ellen Kohler, uh, uh, an adept, uh, which means I use magic and... Uh, uh, due to my uh, uh, goal of becoming the world's greatest magic arcane user, I am very susceptible to corruption, uh, which we'll find out tonight. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we'll find out as we go through this story, but I'm like, oh no, will you even be part of this party anymore? All right. <clears throat> no, the answer is no. <laughs> we'll see how the dice lie. Yeah, only the three d sixes. That's it. No one gets any more, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, is there okay, anything sorry. about the game itself that we should talk about, Caitlin, before we actually start rolling? Because this is an entirely new system than the d twenty that we typically use. Yeah, so it's new for me. For the most part, it seems like it's not necessarily much about killing things and setting things on fire. It's about maintaining relationships and maintaining a balance and then helping out because you love where you live, helping out those in need. Uh, you have an oath to the queen, so you'll always basically do what the queen of Aldis, which is the main city where Blue Rose comes from always helping out her with whatever her needs may be. Most people, well, that's kind of how it is. They're very co-inhabiting, live together, even though there's different realms. Tonight, you're actually going to go a little bit above all this into Risen, Risen, however I say this. Don't judge me as I'm mispronouncing things wherever I put my mouth. However you pronounce it, that's canon. Yeah, it is. Like, <laughs> Reza, 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 R E Z E A. Yeah. You're going to go oh. there, which is more of plains and kind of more wilderness than the city of Aldis. Okay. Then, okay. Okay. I'll just. <laughs> well, while she looks for her notes, so different system we're using the uh age system the adventure game engine which requires requires blah, 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 three d6s two of the same d6 and one different one to be able to tell something a little bit apart if you don't i would just suggest holding that last d6 and rolling that in a separate container uh, uh but apparently that third d6 is supposed to help with other things along down the line i could be talking out of my ass though that is fairly confident because I only started reading this five minutes ago and then five minutes before the between the rolls the other night. Really? Have I vamped long enough for Caitlin to find her notes? <laughs> Not Answer. Enough, but, so to roll for initiative, normally you roll your D20 like we do. You actually roll your three D6s and add your decks to it. And that's nice. how everyone rolls for initiative, which is interesting because you're used to like, okay, out of 20, what could it be? But now it's out of six plus decks, so I don't even know. What's, what's six times six? 36. Whoa, right? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah? No. Six times six is 36. Yeah. Yes. 
So you already have a base of like rolling up to 36 for your initiative plus dex. Kyle, cool. Kyle's like three. 3d6 though that's only 18 team yeah <laughs> oh my god that's 18 that plus your dex <laughs> 18 plus your dex it's just getting it's up to 18 it's less than 20 all right you know what <laughs> i showed up to an appointment today at 10 o'clock that's actually tomorrow so that's how my day is going just amazing wonderful well if we if we if i roll three sixes on my 3d sixes i will have a 21 on my initiative because my dex is high. Yeah, sure. Yes. <laughs> All right. So for what happened tonight, the queen basically asked for you guys to go up to the town of Reza, Reza to investigate missing clan members. Mm. Though it's not unusual for a person or two to go missing, the fact of the extent that there is a consistency of people missing mm. has led others to believe that there's potentially darker forces afoot. The town itself is built upon old sorcery and it's dark magic. Though the kings, the sorcerer kings, <laughs> the sorcerer kings don't exist there anymore, it's not unheard of for like shadow fiends to appear, and in general, for any type of like dark sorcery to kind of stem from it, especially in the plains, because there is the stone forest which you guys will be heading towards, and the stone forest does not have many alive plants, animals, it's mostly dead. So Stone forest? The dark magic has basically sucked the life out of the realm. Woof. Damn. Right? Woof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's up to you guys to figure out what happened to these clan members. It's beginning to be winter. The storms are coming. It's been an unusually very cold winter for them. They're missing. They haven't made it back to the winter and grounds. Typically, when the winter time comes, the clans all meet. They leave their plains, the areas that they're protecting, to come more into a city to prepare for the storms and to work together. Because obviously, being out on your own, things can happen. So the fact that not all of them have made it back, <clears throat> it's up to you to figure it out. The queen tells you all this. You guys don't have a choice. Next thing you know, you're getting sent through the portal, which is her private little portal, so you guys don't have to take a, a long journey there. Okay. Whee! Whee! <laughs> and you populate out into the wintering grounds, which is where currently most people are. And you are meeting with who is the priestess. So her name is, I'm so gonna butcher her name too, Kahana. Kahana is the highest authority there. She doesn't, in Reza, nobody really has a governing force. Each clan's on their own. So you're meeting with her and she's gonna go over a bit with you guys like, oh, welcome. I'm sure as you've heard from the queen, some of our clan members have gone missing. There are rumors going around that there's tarot cards nailed onto the trees in the forest. Would you guys mind going and looking into these tarot cards? We send some people out as well. You may run into them. Though the forest is grand, you may not. Um, being right in, I am psychic and all that. Am I getting any sense of worry or intrepidation from her or anything like that? that no she's she's dealt with a lot of things that it's really hard for her to get truly upset or to have any type of like fear okay she's pretty calm collected which is weirdly also unruly i guess for you to be like oh why mm -hmm. someone dealing with people missing in their community to just be like and hey, not like what's going on <laughs> how many uh, how many people have gone missing the counts are unsure, but we're estimating so far at least 
20 people, three of which are the clan leaders. Well, some leaders have gone missing as well. That's troublesome. Well, fear not, Kahana. You have Volata at your side. Wink. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> I appreciate He's that. He's getting the romance going early. I, I'm saying I'm sensing the confidence <laughs> from him. <laughs> Rosino, my wife and two husbands, we have been looking for another. Oh, uh, wife and two husbands. Well, mm -hmm. uh, it's, a full, it's a full evening. I yeah. suppose we should get, uh, get your uh, civil, civilians back so we can uh, talk about the evening. Of course, yes. <laughs> Life is all about love. In community and being together. For I, I would could not agree more. <laughs> what? I could I'm not agree more. <laughs> and I'm sitting here thinking, do they need a family dog? <laughs> <laughs> so backdrop for other people. Uh, Blue Rose is very different from other game systems where it values a lot of relationships. It does stem further into LGBTQIA plus community. Where most people, it is very common to marry male and male, female, female, transgenders, NA, and there's also a lot of polyamorous relationships as well. So they have two stars. There's also three stars. That's how they break it down, which is neat. So, Great. yep, back to the game. Just representation, so love it. I'm forcing it in there. It's actually built into the game system a lot, nice, which is neat. Well, Volata is pansexual, so. Yeah, uh, but every, yeah, every <laughs> pansexual, asexual, all are entwined into the characters that are in Blue Rose, which is nice. And of course, Elias is the furry, so yeah. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> so you had that streak going in you. Switch, 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 switch. Okay. <laughs> uh, we ever asked... figure out if a dolphin was a furry or not? I'm sorry, Hannah, before I... That's okay. That's more important. Did we ever discover if a dolphin was a furry or no? I mean, I guess, I mean a dolphin is technically a mammal, is it not? Right, but it doesn't right, have exactly. any fur. <laughs> or does it have fur? It could be a little microscopic fur. There's only one way to find out. Guys, I will see you later. I'm going swimming. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing a game. <laughs> All right. Uh, right, the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Ray, you, you were saying something? Uh, I was going to ask, have the other people found anything? The ones that you sent out? The only things that we found, which some people have seen and some people have not, is again, those tarot cards that are mm. spiked on the trees. Mm -hmm. Some, Not that it's unusual. A lot of people do tend to carry around their own oracle or tarot cards, personal to themselves. But it is weird that they're pinned to trees. It's it's unusual, but also maybe it's someone's way to spread love. Also, okay. a lot of readings are for people's relationship, love lives, trying to figure out someone could have been going through a bad time and hmm. maybe they don't want the cards anymore. Also, maybe these people imagined it and it wasn't there because then other groups have said, no, they haven't seen them. So, so these people it. could be just eloping off in the night. Could be eloping into the night. Eloping into the night. They read their tarot cards and away they go. It could be. You never know. Maybe it's... Uh... Problem solved. Let's go burn down the tavern. Let's go what? <laughs> Let's go burn down the tavern. What? Why would you ever burn down a tavern? It's full of mead and ale and the lovely people. Yeah, plus the next tavern is about 50 miles from here. That's so far. Oh, no. <laughs> Red the wolf. And it's more like, have you guys seen, uh, what is it? The yurts. Yurts? Oh, yeah. okay. It's a yurt. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> hey, I mean, some yurts are really nice and really big, so... <laughs> Well, these people are like nomadic, a lot of them. So because they fluctuate, they'll put, you know, the 
taverns can be more on the way coming to town than being in town. Right, got it. Live on the outskirts. Okay. Uh, so in terms of, uh, do we have everything we need for venturing out into these woods? Do we need to have like wick winter clothing and furs and whatnot? Obviously, we have a wolf here. For fun. Yeah, when he says furs, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we have some spare pelts we can lend you. Well, good because I I don't I, I don't own a shirt, so. <laughs> You just showed up shirtless. He's shirtless. Just I mean, cheating on you. There you go. She's like, hmm. You sure you want to cover that up? I mean, well, if we're go- if we're going to be venturing out into the wintry landscape, uh, I, uh, it might be nice to have a touch more. If I see a wolf pelt, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, maybe not wolf pelts if you can avoid those. Maybe some I don't know okay. yeti furs. Got any of those kicking around? She brings out. I guess what is it? Three open furs. Three pelts. Two of which are like a brownish color, maybe like a bear. I was about to say bears. I mean, they're okay. they're, they're they're good folk, but you know. Yeah. The third one looks like it's a bunch of rabbits <laughs> together. sewn together. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. It's the rabbit Definitely. fur coat from the eighties. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I'll do, I'll, I'll take one of those bear furs. You want the rabbit one? No, a bear. Uh, he I'll wants take, bear. I'll, I'll take the bear. Thank you. I'll take a rabbit. <laughs> all right. You get the rabbit. And then, oh, for the, the dog, we have little booties. You got got uh, paw, paw mittens? Yeah, and then they're also little rabbits sewn together. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'll end up chewing on them anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> You're just looking at... Freya, like, hmm, rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> and then don't, you're like, don't run too fast. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm i going to assume there's potions of healing. So this is my trying to figure things out. So you guys will also each get one of those. Oh, wonderful. But it's like a cute little necklace with like a heart. That's it. Oh, wholesome. Adorable. Uh, what is what is Kahana's um, like designation? Is she like a, a regent or like a like a, a lady, a lord? She's a, a priestess. So in the realms of Riza, Riza, there is no authority. There's no queen, king, regent, baron. It's just she's one that everyone tends to look through to for the ultimate say. However, each clan, their leaders would be in essence, that region because they oversee themselves, but communally, she's the one that oversees all of them. Okay, wonderful. Well, I don't have any further questions. I'm ready to venture into the woods, if anyone else. No, I'm ready. I'm ready to go, but if I see Johnny Depp dressed as a wolf, I'm leaving. (laughs) There you go. <laughs> into I do the not woods. know this Johnny Depp <laughs> you speak of, but oh, because into the woods, like the movie. There you go. Yeah, um... there you go. Oh man. Okay. The woods, da, 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 da. So into the woods. I'm going. I will probably lead on out. Uh, follow the nose. Okay. Great. I uh, yeah, I'll be following right behind the wolf. Uh, So I am nose to the ground, uh, looking for scents to try to get my bearings and sense of direction. Uh, So so where does it seem to be taking me? Further into the forest? Yes. So it's, it's a kind of a long journey. So you guys are going through, you're noticing like, wow, if you know, there's like a lot of tall grass, it's kind of died off there is a lot of snow on the ground as you go further towards the forest it seems to be some trees appear there's pine trees but it starts off where the pine trees have pines and then you go and then it's like half of the tree has it and then less and less to where there's just naked trees naked dead trees okay 
All right. All right. Uh, I've got uh, I've got my uh, whale harpoon just at ready with me, just holding it in one in one hand, keeping a keeping a glance over at for any dangers. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a brand snap. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I stepped on a twig there. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> no, it's, it's, we should be being careful, uh, paying great attention. People have been vanishing in these woods. We should probably, you know, ensure we can keep sight of one another at all times. I, I'm doing the typical dog ahead of you, turn around, looking. It's just like you guys coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you do like perception checks. We have um, a perception stat. Yeah. We do indeed. I even specialize in searching. Ooh. Although that's probably looking for books or something. <laughs> <laughs> searching for books. Hey, never- <laughs> do I find any books out here? Do tarot cards count as books? Because I'm really yeah. good at finding and you definitely keeping it. Roll for searching for books. All nice. right. <laughs> 3d6. Here we go. Uh, seven. Oh. Uh, 13. 15. All right. You find a, a notebook. It's small. And then you open it. You can't quite make out what it says on the inside yet. It looks like well, weird symbols. Maybe it's stick figured people. I don't really know yet. Could I make like a, a lore check? Um, is there anything arcane about this? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely it's, I guess, some magic to it. So I guess it would be arcane check. Yes. <laughs> well, that's worse than the last one. Come on. No, actually, that might be the exact same. Oh, 16. All right, you confirm it's definitely dance moves. <laughs> but it seems important. So you may want to hold on to it. <laughs> ah, this has no significance. And I tuck it into a pocket for later. <laughs> yeah. hey. uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to do a perception check, being the perceptive type trying to be so i roll what 3d6 and add a modifier is that correct okay all right uh 11 16 18 19 20 all right there above and beyond (laughs) so since you're a little more ahead of the group you do notice in the trees there's these cards they're definitely cards because okay color ahead of them you're good we're gonna say you're good like 20 feet ahead of the group Mm -hmm. do you want to let them know uh yeah i'll uh, i'll take note of where it is and i'll come trotting back and uh say i will uh psychically project the like direction a sense of direction you know as to where to follow into their eyes yeah (laughs) Oh. So, so Vol, uh, I keep mispronouncing it, Volata, uh, has a sen- uh, is suddenly f- flooded with uh, a sense of direction and purpose or whatever that'll guide him towards the tarot card. I uh, steadily focus on that, wary at first, but uh, when I spot the tarot card, I say, aha! Uh, first clue we have arrived at one of these mysterious tarot cards is it uh, uh i guess how high up the tree in it is it like like eye level how tall are you roughly <clears throat> i'm like six one okay so it's about if you're looking at it if, this one's like a few inches lower they kind of all vary where they are in heights uh uh, so I, I would get right up to it, and can I see how it's attached? Is it like is it like stuck with something on the on the tree, or is it just like attached to it in like invisibly? Is there like a pin in it, or like a dagger through it, or anything like that? 
It's a nail. If you want to roll, da, 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 da. I guess it again. Uh, Being or visionary, what would that be considered? Still perception. Okay, perception. Okay, yeah. I can do a perception check. Think? Oh, that's uh, so that's nine. Uh, that's a whole ten. <laughs> okay, you definitely notice it's with a nail. It looks nail. like an older nail, hmm. maybe a little rusty. Kind of almost. If you've seen so, uh, da, 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 railroad tracks, uh, hmm. the tracks, how those nails oh, are. Like pythons. Yeah, yeah, like one of those. It's how big, the tarot cards. How big are these tarot cards? They are for us like a standard sheet of paper, like a okay, five, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Well, these are massive, they, uh... <laughs> are very big hair, almost like a picture of one, like someone's trying to decorate mm. the woods. Do we want to take it down? Do you think we can? Is that a is that a good idea? Uh, are these is there anything magic about this? I look at it and then look to Ellen or Freya. I don't know if I review no magic stuff. If someone wants to do like an Arcana check, I will do so. Oh, that is eight, nine, fifteen. Okay, so there's definitely something magical to them. Mm. When you stare at it long enough, it's almost as if the card's like breathing. Like it, so instead of the paper being flat, it kind of like poops out and poops back in, poops out, poops back in. Ellen licks her finger real quick. <laughs> uh, appears to be no wind. Okay. The pages appear to be breathing. And I pull out a quill or something like that and I proceed to poke the page real quick. What type of pen quill is this a magical pen or quill no just an ordinary one like you would be say tickling someone just knows if it were alive just like Doo. on the pen side or the feather side the feather side the feather side okay mm. as you do that it's almost like you heard a really 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 high pitch like no i hear it <laughs> Do we hear, do we hear it or is it just uh, just them? Whoever is close, if you're close to the card, you would hear it. I I'm pretty sure yeah. I can I hear, hear it. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's weird. Uh, what kind of tarot card is it? Like how it looks. Well, like what's the which card is it? I guess. Yeah. Ooh, 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 asking the right questions. Yeah. yeah. Maybe in the wrong direction. <laughs> is it a is it a swords? Is it a is it higher? Arcana. It is definitely one of the main Arcana ones, not the second here. Okay. So was that King Queens? Try to remember them. Uh, Hierophant. Arcana. There we go. That's what I was looking yeah. for. Oh, <laughs> and say rolling that fifteen uh, arcane lore. The, the what does the tarot card generally mean? Obviously, in different stages, it means different things, but. In general, is there a meaning to it? So it is the. It's, we're gonna do. Yeah, let's do the judge. It's the judgment one. Sorry, I'm trying to. Look up. And it's upside down. So depending on how you said, if the tarot card's up or upside down, it's one reading, and then there's a reverse reading. A lot of times, reverse reading could be more negative. Mm. Well, uh, do you think that this card can lead us to any others? I look. Are there any others within eyesight, or is this the only one we can see? There's three others that you guys noted in this right. in this vicinity right now. Okay. Think there uh, are more. Do you want to investigate them? Oh, yeah. Of, of course. There um, are there are four of them, and there are four of us. Is that what you're saying? No, there's three in total. Oh, so there's three one, total. and then okay. two more. Yeah, okay. sorry, three. So, 
Uh, I, if I try to perceive, do I like detect any kind of nuances in the scents, like like a different scent for each card, perhaps held by a different person? Uh, roll for that. I don't know what okay. scent would be considered. Okay, or it could just be like observation. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Smelling, smelling, roll for smelling. Roll, roll for, for smell. Sh- roll for smells. There yes. we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, 12. Uh, let's see. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Yep. So you notice that the three cards do have a similar scent, but the undertones like perfume. So there's a high note. There. High note and a low note. <laughs> the low notes, you notice are all different. Okay. Almost as if it smells like people. Okay. Like perhaps uh, a different person handled each card or? Yeah, you just notice it smells like people. Like if, if someone was like, hey, smell this sock and find this person, that's how Right, pretty much. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Ellen, you feathered it and it made a little whiny sound i'm going to get really close get like a foot away and be like (laughs) just poke it with my finger (laughs) feels like paper it feels like paper Uh, i'm I'm out of ideas but it feels like paper you're muted kyle dang it (laughs) uh the tarot cards are they three in a line or are they three in kind of odd directions. There's like, not could they the- possibly be like a gigantic tarot reading? And so there might be one to the north and one to the south. You notice, yeah. So like one's up higher and then the other ones are also different heights. So the mm. one you looked at would have been in the middle. There's one up higher and there's one lower. And they're not the trees next to them. It's kind of like a little bit spaced out, but enough that if you turn your head, you can see it. It's very snowy. These tarot cards are colorful, surprisingly. Is the tree giving us a reading? Are we getting a reading right now? Past, present, future. Three card reading. I mean, Uh, I would like to communicate that. I feel like these don't seem like good cards. I would uh, uh, agree with that assessment. Uh, yeah. Should we leave them up, take them down? What do you think would be best? We should go look at the next one. All right. Go over to the next nearest. Yep. So left or right, I guess, really. Well, yeah. You you missed the one because there's like a tree in front of it. So there's like right. this tree and then kind of like aisles well, down. Well, left is right and right is wrong. So let's go left. Okay. So you notice on this one, it is definitely a different card. It's a different hand major arcana. This one is the high priestess. Ooh. And it's right side up. It's a good thing. It's promising. <laughs> uh, you say high priestess, and I'll let. Am I detecting uh, what's her name? Scent on the card? Uh-huh. Uh, no. Mm-hmm. no. <laughs> okay. Not hers. Okay. Uh, and and just to double check, the first one was a hero fint. The first one was Judgment. Judgment. So upside Judgment, down. High Priestess. Judgment upside down, High Priestess right side up. Mm-hmm. Is there anything on the back of these cards? Yeah. I mean, just doop. When you try to move it, you can't. How about that? Oh. <laughs> Is it because there's a nail on the four corners and it's just like, well, why did I try moving that? I got to rip it off the tree first. Yeah. <laughs> it's just as if the, the, even though it's against the tree, it's like it's molded to the tree. So it's nailed up and on it. So 
if you've ever taken like wax and like dripped it on something and it molds, mm -hmm. yeah, it I prefer not to talk about bedroom talk uh, <laughs> online with other people watching. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you fooling, Kyle? That's how that's how you make your living. <laughs> <laughs> Follow him on OnlyFans. The bedroom stuff for the talking about me. Uh, oh, can you go? <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Um, okay. Well, all right. So uh, let's check out what the third one is. So we've got that. We've got judgment. We've got high priestess, and then and the third one is I guess strength. Right, that's the card. Also, right side up. Okay. Um, do any of you know anything? About... Um, well, the last two seem they have like a better vibe than the first one. So I would say you could inspect these, one of these two. Well, I'm 100% uh, interested in the priestess. So that's the cue I'm going to take from this whole situation. I'm going to go up to the High Priestess card, uh, put put a hand on the Python, and try and like rip that off to take the to take the tarot. Can okay. I do that? Just roll your dice, the three dice. Just roll them, okay? Yeah. Just roll the dice for anything. Yeah, While he does that, uh, what I was trying to get at earlier is tarot cards are three in a row another one up, another one down. If I were to walk in a certain direction to where I believe another tarot card would be that we haven't seen yet, would I find one? And mm -hmm. I, Kyle, am not uh, knowledgeable about tarot card readings. I'm just oh, so trying to imagine what they used to be. No, so yeah, when you have tarot cards, there is a three-card reading. They can also be straight across, which is past, or yeah, past, present, future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's your basic three card deck, so okay. it could be that way. Yeah, I'm just imagining the princess and the frog, where I think they do three in a row, and then yeah. one on top and one below. Yeah, that's another one. That's so that's a five. Card I was reading, yeah. going yeah. to see if there was a fourth or fifth card. I guess is what I was trying to look for. Okay. So if I wander off into the woods, not hopefully too far, do I find the fourth or fifth card perchance? Which direction are you wandering? whichever way would make sense to the array of the three cards. I'm assuming the three cards we've seen are the ones that well, are the three in a row. Going forward or backwards, depending on how you want to look at it. I will go forwards then. Okay. Oh, I suppose, yeah. Okay, mm. now I get what you're talking about. It'd be like, yeah, okay. If and they're at three different lines, I would go left from the one that's sitting in the middle. All right, if you're walking forward, mm -hmm. roll perception, and then I just need Joe's number. I rolled a 16. I didn't, uh, there's no modifiers or anything. It was just a, just a 16. Okay, you go to grab it, and you're like, yeah, it's pretty stuck in there, but don't take any damage. You just slide your hand right off. <laughs> and then you realize, ooh, this is really sharp. I could have sliced my hand open. And that was rusty, and that's not good for... Okay, yeah, I'm not going to try that again. <laughs> I'm not going to okay. try it again, again. <laughs> Jaws uh, start got the locking us. <laughs> <laughs> um, I rolled... Um, so, eight on the die, two for perception, and two for searching is total of 12. But um, I was reading and trying to get a better idea of the rules... And it said, if you ever roll the same oh, you matching to... die, you get stat or stunt points, which I don't know how that necessarily Ooh. works or if that is applicable in this situation. Probably not. I don't can, know. Can you stack stunt points and like hold on to those? No, it didn't say. <laughs> no, I'll let you guys hold on to your. You can't stack them, but I'll let you hold on to for if you ever need them. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you know what? Yeah, how about you can stack them? I don't know what S is that? SP. Yeah. SP, yes. One point? Yeah. yeah it says yeah. doubles rolled on certain types of tests generate stunt points, and you can use these points to pull off various special maneuvers. 
Yeah, keep it. Yeah. Stack them and keep them. Do it. That one, then, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because there's, if it will show up, nope, it just disappears. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> just in the snow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So you notice nothing. <laughs> Maybe, cool. maybe you see people way in the distance, but there's no cards. Okay. People. Elias, I think I see some people over there. I'm, I'm assuming going. you're like far away from them. You're like a good 30 feet away. Well, we have been told that oh, the priestess, yes. the priestess <laughs> sends some people, right? Since there I, are I, other people out yeah. there. Psychically, I kind of detect uh, Ellen. So... Um, we connect psychically. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I come join Ellen uh, in the direction that they're in. And I point out, do you see the people over there? I point. <laughs> <laughs> Does any of you want to go further, advance through it? Right, yeah. We shouldn't let them get too far away from us. No, I feel like I still want to explore this priestess card. All right, I will be with you then. We shouldn't all okay. split up. And I, I psychically project. They didn't say it had a range, so uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I'll 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 protect Ellen. So okay, I'll protect Freya. We need to. All right. I need to protect it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was about to say, fire will protect <laughs> Elias, how far do you want to go forward? Uh, I I will go no more than 20 feet ahead of Ellen. I, I'm walking. I'll walk with him. Are you going to try to him. keep pace? or? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then, then I will slow just enough for Ellen to keep pace and uh, we we go forward. Uh, Elias at least moves, uh, uses 20 feet of movement. Okay. So when you get about two and a half distance you just were, so what's that, like 75 feet away from where you were? Mm -hmm. You definitely notice, yeah, there, there's some legs and people you can kind of see a bit. So it's snowy, there's trees, these people are dressed not particularly fancy any means they almost kind of blend in can't tell fully what they're wearing it's definitely darker clothes uh do do right and see color or do or is it just brought black and white you see color why not well, what do you see okay color? yeah right. dogs in real life can see some tones of color yeah yeah, yeah. but it's it's the uh, you can't, I mean, it's people. If you didn't know better, you could think maybe it was just a tree branches moving around. Right, but I sense that it's, that it is people. Yeah, it's, it's, if you were like sneaking up on people, there's enough woods that it kind of covers them, but they're there. Mm -hmm. You just can't fully see them all in one piece because, again, there's just trees and stuff everywhere. I sense they're back people. <laughs> and they're just kind of like, it looks like they got noodle arms. And noodle things. arms. Huh? <laughs> Here, yeah, they're, they're not just standing still. They're definitely moving around. Okay. Almost like... Dancing? Um, yeah. Okay. Almost like they're dancing. No, and, no chanting, no music, just dance moves. And I... I pro Check that feeling. It's just like dancing parties. Silent disco. Silent disco. Yes, yeah, like silent, no, silent. Silent. Silent disco. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so I'll, 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 I'll convey the feeling that this is, you know, people in front of us. They are dancing. That they don't appear to be threatening. Okay. okay. Dancing in the woods. All right. <laughs> Nothing suspicious about that. Seems perfectly okay. natural. Like I said, so far, so far, not threatening. <laughs> we are no book 
Dancing. Just Carol Carl Carl sad. Saying. Uh, Freya, what uh, what do you think you can learn from this uh, here? I don't. Um, did you did you get it off the tree? No, it uh, it it almost gashed my hand with the 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 rusty nail. So I I I opted not to go that route again. Good idea. Can I like? Can I use a an object and smash the rusty nail? What objects? Um. Wood. I don't know. Like a like a big big from <laughs> the ground. Like a big club stick. You know what? You roll for perception. <laughs> roll your three d six, and then. You should have like a plus or something, whatever, for perception on your character sheet. Well, if I was closer, she could have just said, Elias, fetch the stick. Yeah, fetch the just... <laughs> Well, yeah. I do have weapons. Is there any rocks? I will, uh, I would also like to, I could look for a big rock. Yeah. Uh, 13. 13 to look for wood. You notice, yeah. oh, I can just break off. <laughs> so lovely. I can break off some of these twigs that are kind of half broken hanging off from it. So you just see that. I, I, um, okay. as a, was I also making a perception check for stones and rocks? I rolled I rolled three sixes. So that's so that's 19. Okay. And the game goes downhill from here. Exactly. <laughs> Sticks and stones, man. <laughs> we were all being very inclusive and very loving, but really we're just trying to get you to summon the devil with six and six rolls. <laughs> under the tree, under the snow, you do notice there are stones. Well, I'm just going to pick the bag and take the biggest one and pick it up. All right. Yeah, the biggest one's like roughly the size of a coconut, but yeah. only weighs like twenty five pounds. It's very, oh. very heavy. <laughs> Hit it really hard. Yeah. So okay. you strength. It's check. a rusty nail. It should break. Okay. Uh, strength check. Yeah. That isn't how steel works. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is, uh, 10, um, 11. Okay. You can, you can pick up the rock and throw it at the tree. Try to hit a nail on the head with the rock. (laughs) Yeah, you, 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 you throw it at the tree, at the, at the nail, and then it just kind of, like, cracks in half. And then you hear almost like a whimper, like a cry. Uh, Monster. <laughs> did, did you did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, she would hear it. It's almost like you, like someone way in the distance was hit by a rock. I feel so bad. I don't know why I feel bad, but I feel very bad. You, you hit the priestess. What? What? No. I hit I hit the nail with the rock. That was your idea. You wanted to smash it, so I. Yeah, so you did <laughs> it's it. your idea. <laughs> yeah, Freya, are you going to use your stick that you broke off the tree? That's what you found. No, I don't need it you anymore. I'm, can I keep it though? Yeah, can I keep it. All right, you're going to put it in your hair. You're going to be weird. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go works. up to the go up to the tarot card and apologize to it. Sorry, and I hit you. When you look at it, you see. Water droplets, like it's crying. Oh, oh, weeping tarot card. <laughs> oh no! Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I was just trying to. Are you alive? Can you understand what I'm saying to you? Can it talk? It doesn't talk, but you do see it, like. Like it's like deep breath comes in and out. You don't hear it. You just see the card like as if someone's like, and their chest lets down. Okay. 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 Freya, Freya, I Mm -hmm. think 
this may be a wild theory, but what if the mystery people, what about the people who disappeared? What if they got turned into these sheets of paper? That's what I'm thinking. And now you're just beating them up. <laughs> the, what, it's the rusty nail. I didn't think it would be part of the yeah. paper. I have. <laughs> I think well, we should. Can we go um, with the other two? Hmm. Uh, yeah, well, uh, 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 Elias, Ellen, we've, uh, I think we've discovered something very important. As uh, we... I look back. <laughs> um, You're like way, way, way far away. You're right. like, so far away. Yeah. And you just see them like, I think, I think, I think they're getting close to that. <laughs> That's moving towards <personal> <laughs> So He's trying to catch up by the people dancing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like in, in entranced by the dance. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, do we catch up to them, or are they still like far? Yeah, you're gonna like basically sneak up on them because they. Yeah, sneak reason, up on a wolf. Huh? <laughs> well, you're ahead, so. Yeah. I'm very good By at. By the time I'm they get close sneaking. enough, they're like, "Hey!" And you're like, "Ah!" <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so we think that the tarot cards have the people in them because of magic. Working theory. <laughs> And uh, I, I'm sure I sense the feeling of distress coming from uh, Balata. <laughs> Definitely. So, uh, you know, he's seen something. So. <laughs> magical. I, magical um, weird card things and people are trapped in them and they have feelings and emotions and they can be hurt. So we should not hurt them. Okay. Yeah. And then I kind of, I kind of point like I had, you know, point it towards the people in the woods to see if Balata sees that. Do I see these people? These dancing people. Uh, it's Freya and Balata roll for perception. Perception. Oh. Nine. Nine. Hannah. Ten. Uh, yeah, you guys see them. You you see some like movement going on. Still, they're still dancing. They've been dancing for who knows how long. <laughs> um, can we look in that notebook again? Ooh. If I actually do, we need to get closer to actually see the dance moves. Unimpeded yeah, you have to get trees. closer to see the dance moves. We'll uh, sneak up there. I will definitely do a sneak. Yeah, I do a sneak. I do a sneak. Yeah, I guess you guys would all roll for roll for. I don't see a stealth Deck? modifier. Yeah, but, uh, I would say it's dex, right? Dex. Area. Dex. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So I rolled very poorly. So I'm going to use my scouting talent to re-roll a stealth. What is the roll? What? Is it a D6? Uh, mm -hmm. Dexterity, and it's your 3D6. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you have any matching D6, notate that, because I have a pair of D4s that matched. Yeah. I, I rolled exactly the same as I rolled last time. So I got uh, 10. This is creepy. Seven. <laughs> seven. So I got 10. 10. Okay. Uh, um, go first. Uh, seven. Nine, actually, for Elias. Thirteen for Ellen. Ooh. You guys go quietly. Freya seems to face plant, but it was a quiet mm -hmm. face plant. So no one really noticed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I then, stuck there? Nah, you get up. You just kind of like, <gasps> and then keep okay. going. That and happens sometimes. Just missed the branch that you could have snapped. So, so quiet. All right, so you get closer and you can, you're kind of like hiding behind a tree as you guys do this. Yeah. Dun, 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 
each at each at a different level. So like there's a tree and there's like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. 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 You see you see the wolf on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you're closer, you notice these people definitely don't look like normal people for one. Okay. Not at least of the kinds that you have seen. And they're dressed in like dark robes. Mm. That's never good. <laughs> With, well, if it looks like ivy. Ellen looks down at their clothing. It's all black. <laughs> Wait a moment. Uh, okay. Uh, I, do they have noodle arms? Is that what they were? I heard you talking about noodle they're, arms earlier. They're dancing. <laughs> So, so then their arms look like noodles, you know, like because you oh, can't. Yeah. <laughs> we found the portal to arm Burning waving Man. Arm waving flight and tube man. Arm waving flight and flight and tube man. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah so no, pulling their out. movements are definitely very like free spirited, wispy, <laughs> magical. Oh. We found we we found the portal to Burning Man. <laughs> so I'm definitely I'm like if I was not already on the mission to find missing people, I am very tempted to join in this dancing. It looks fun. There should be music though. Yeah, actually, let's see. I may have to turn off my background to show you what these people look like. Can I do Ooh. this? Oh, or will it like zoom in on them? Whoa. You'll Only probably have, have to turn out. off your oh, background. Yeah, you're going to have to turn it off. Oh, Tricky. no. I can't fight this feeling deep inside, inside of me. me. Ooga, ooga, Sorry, that's ooga, what I hear is going on while they're dancing. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Right. A little lanky. Yeah. So, I mean, I dance with them are they tall i'm gonna wait maybe uh are they tall uh freya freya asks are they small is what ellen asked <laughs> depends on your person <laughs> on your perspective they're, they're tall and slender i mean they're probably like six foot but not like outrageously tall Just... okay uh Ellen, what you said you were looking at the dance moves in the notebook. Are they doing the same dance moves? Are they doing the same dance moves? Caitlin. Notebook. Reading, comparing. Yeah. No, they definitely, I know. They, they oh, that like one is not good at these dance moves. He needs to practice a little bit more. <laughs> you notice one that of them guy, clearly. He's got it. Very offbeat. But when you look at it, you notice like, oh, yeah, these figures in the notebook do look like people dancing. So they're like uh, on the inside cover a name like Carl because this is Carl's notebook. He's the bad dancer <laughs> over there. It's why he's dancing so bad. He lost his notebook in the woods. Yeah, you It's know like what? those uh, old no those learn, to, <laughs> learn to dance books with the footsteps that you put out. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah, God. It's, 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 yeah, it's him. And then uh, you notice it's actually written in like you know like old blood how it gets kind of like goopy. Oh, I would have oh, smelled that's, that. <laughs> that's not good. Well, it's, it's, it's crusty and it's on there. It's like ink. They didn't have ink. So yeah, it's Carl with the bad dance moves. Okay. okay. And then in the back, it's like, I will dance good. I will dance good. I will dance good. <laughs> this is motivation. Okay. But written in blood. But it's written in blood. The, Umbridge the was his professor, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Dolores. <laughs> you make do of what you can, you know, equal friendly. I mean, it's a, blood is a perfectly reasonable writing uh, uh, device, you know. You yeah. can like the notebook scribble. itself doesn't look magical per se. It's just like the things written in it. You're like, yeah, but what mean, does the paper like this could look be like, like a ritual <laughs> or something? It's human skin. Exactly. We found the Necronomicon okay. of Carl. <laughs> do, uh, do we want to approach them or like start to approach them? Like we know like, okay, this looks like those dancing people. 
Mm-hmm. How yeah, many dancing people? Mm. There's like seven of them. There's seven. They like the holy number seven. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and uh, can I identify what race they are? And uh, maybe. Uh, those are... Or any symbols? Maybe Carl put the symbol of the secret order in the book too. I definitely want to look to see if there's any more tarot cards kicking is this around this area. for your intelligence. It is an intelligence roll yeah. for me, yes. Yeah, do that. Ooh, okay, wow. I am surprised by how many matching dice show up. Um, 12, 16, 18. 18? 18. All right, yeah, they look like liches. Oh, ew. Did, did Wait, you say like leeches? Like, did yeah, you they're say like a hundred each. Just, just yeah. Leeches, like the the thingies, like a, a lich, lich, lich. Lich. How are you spelling it? Lich. Yeah, sorry. L i no l i c h. Or l i c h. With wow. possibly a silent e, depending on who's spelling it. Yeah. L e e c h. Oh, leeches. No, it's leeches. L the fruit. Ooh. Oh yes, are liches Lichy. are liches the same? Are liches like Evil. this? Li- like liches like D and D liches? They're I can't even think of D and D liches. I mean, liches yeah. are all yeah. There's D and D liches. Dark D and D liches are like the scary lich from Adventure Time. Where yeah, they're he like Ben's cosmic thing, and his flesh gets ripped off, and he's scary. They're uh, undead wizards, essentially. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. Yeah, like an undead. That, that's what these undead guys are. Lizard, <laughs> wizard, <That's> undead <laughs> wizards. I do not. <laughs> the worst kind of liches, the Liz liches. Liz liches. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen, do you inform us that these are liches? <laughs> Very quietly. I think they're liches, which would make them evil sorcery types. I thought there were no evil sorcery types anymore. Well, they crop up every now and then. I mean, anyone can learn how to cast a terrible, awful spell that will corrupt them. Mm-hmm. Oh, I As guess. Ellen's hand slowly raises up. <laughs> How many corruption points do you have? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I am having second thoughts about perhaps conversing with these individuals. Um, I don't also, think, well, if we could try conversing with them, maybe just have one or two of us go out and try talking to them, and the other two can hide out here in the woods, and if things look bad, they'll be surprised by two more people. And they'll them. think they're outnumbered. There, there are seven of them though, and four of us. I do not like. The, I do not have access to any magic. I am fast and strong, but magic is freaky. I'm not uh, sure whether I'm happy or sad about that. What seven hundred health total? Oh my gosh! I we go is, out there and we fight to the death because this is a romantic fantasy. You know what? Let's 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 say it's six sixty five. We'll say Carl <laughs> isn't fully a hundred. He's like a solid seventy five. There we go. <laughs> uh, are there any Save other Carl for last? He'll tarot's. Are there any tarot cards against any trees within our vantage point vicinity? This area. Uh, you can cap, cap, like, see a glimpse of one kind of like on the tree that they're next to, but like they're surrounding something else. But there's definitely one nailed up on the tree, tree near them. They're dancing around something. Yeah, they're, they're definitely dancing around something. What are they dancing around? We have to get closer to see. Yeah, you how would, far? You would have to literally be like right up in their business. <laughs> so like walk, okay. walk on up. Ellen is going to take her dark, sorry, their dark robes, wrap them around, kind of look all litchy like, and then study the moves a little bit longer. I can't be worse than Carl at this. 
and then enter appropriately and start dancing around <laughs> and make it eight. <laughs> do you really want to do that? I think this is a terrible idea, but I want to know what's in the center, and maybe they'll start talking to us. <laughs> this is romantic fantasy. It's all about relationships, not about fighting and killing each other, right? Do it. Want- roll, roll perception before you do this. Uh, Ellen, am I am I searching with this perception check? Yeah, or... you're searching. Thank goodness, because that was awful. Five, eight, two, and two for searching. I lost count. Twelve. All right, you notice that on the rock next to them, there's definitely blank cards that look like tarot cards. They just don't have the figure in them, but they have everything else. It's just not an physical image of a person or creature. Whoever the stealthiest one, possibly the fastest of us, should grab those cards before I go out there dancing like an idiot. And then they might not be able to continue their evil binding people into tarot cards. Right, right. Except if we get caught, they'll turn us into the tarot cards. Yeah, there's, 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 there's a good amount. There's like 15. Second thought. <laughs> Elias, sneak around to the other side opposite of the tarot cards. How like a wolf. That I, I apologize if that may seem like I'm stereotyping you. I, I, I project you the feeling of so stereo- <laughs> being stereotyped. <laughs> and then I will use my arcana or my arcane abilities to move objects and to just kind of drag the cards over to where we are while I, they are potentially distracted by a wolf howling. Uh, I project that uh, I understand. You're projecting what, a lot here, Elias. Well, I'm psychic. That's how I can communicate. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I acknowledge his idea or their idea and then we'll um, say, yes, I will go and um, but my ulterior motive would also be to summon. So I'll, I'll, I'll use stealth on the periphery of, of the dance area. Go past uh, a, a little further and then uh, proceed to howl. But as I'm howling, It's uh, as a summon. I'm calling out to any other wolves or creatures in the area. You're looking for creatures in the area? Mm Mm-hmm. Other wolves. You want to do that first? Or you want to do that? I want to sneak around first, go a little bit off in the distance. Okay. All right. So roll for sneaking. So that would dex. be d- dex. dex. Ooh, not bad. Okay. Uh, uh, 10 total? Right. You're like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I you mean, you roll-, roll 3d6 and add your dexterity, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Plus oh, two sorry. if you're specifically trained in stealth. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. In that case... Uh, it would say that, typically, though. It was... I was mistaken. It wasn't 10. It was 11. And with that, that would be, what, 13? 13. Yeah. Okay. So you're walking slowly and notice there's dog-like prints they kind of like trail around. They're not super like you notice your own footprints go further down into the ground than these ones. They go further into. So yours do. Yours go further down like an actual dog's walking. The other oh. ones are like lighter in the snow. Okay. Oh, okay. But same, roughly same size, I guess, as yours. Maybe a little. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of dogs. I, yeah, they'd be like. 
Wolf would be about that big. A dog would be about that big. Mm. Right. Breed of dogs. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I will venture a little further, and uh, I will following the dog. I mean, like the dog prints kind of like circle Mm. around. Yeah, following the dog prints. Okay. Following the trail, kind of stealthily. All right, roll again for Dex then if you're going to follow that. Okay. And then also roll for perception. Okay. Uh, 15. Okay. And then roll for perception. Mm -hmm. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Six, seven, eight. Uh, Perception is 12. Okay, so you're following the footsteps and they definitely lead to a figure you can see that's not too far in distance that if this figure turned around, they would definitely see you. Right. Uh, And perceiving that, (laughs) I kind of try to move into a shadow or something, keeping my eyes focused on them. Like that dog-like Mm-hmm. Shadow creature you also see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Definitely not a. It's not solid completely. Okay. All right. What is it? All right. Is this shadowy figure another lich? It's definitely part of the liches. <laughs> I mean, given the context of everything around. Okay. This is so bad. Yes, this is so bad. (laughs) Okay, so with that, with that that noted, (laughs) I will stealth stealth back a little bit to uh, uh, tell in the best psychic way possible of Alata and uh, Ellen that there's there's things here other than the liches and uh, beings of shadow. Not good. Okay, okay. So um, perhaps, should we perhaps just go back to the high priestess and inform her that there is a whole congregant of liches within these woods? Is it like... Yes, but I still want to get those papers to make sure they can't bind anyone else to them. How fast can you run? Not very. No, I okay. imagine. I, I, uh, what was the running speed calculated to? Uh, uh, narrator Caitlin. I'm going to let you do your normal 30 feet or so. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. My, my speed is 13. Okay. So mine is 12. My speed I think it is 10 it's, plus it's your decks. Yards. I think it's 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 each oh, number it's it's a yards. Yeah, I think is what. Yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Twelve yards then I think is for me. But if the liches look distracted, I want to move the objects and I'm going to grab this non magic. Oh, they, they you would have to get close and they would definitely notice you if you're going to do that. Even closer to do that. Well, gosh. Okay. You're yeah, going to need leave. a distraction. You're going to need a distraction to call them out. So there's definitely liches and definitely some unworldly dog-like creatures. Okay. Can I throw my stick? <laughs> Which direction are you gonna throw your stick? Uh, yeah. You're not showing it to Elias first before you throw it, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You're on the other side. What yeah, I was about to, well, I've I've come back, so okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, have some self control, but I'll throw okay, it to the I'll right. Try. <laughs> I'll try. Away from the like, it's like you're like staring in front of them. There's a left and a right. Yeah, to the right, like that way. Um, roll for strength check. You know what? Change it. Roll for accuracy. Do that one. That makes more sense. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, it's not okay how far it goes, just well. Okay. You throw it 
well, towards Elias a little bit past. I'm like, I'm like <laughs> when it stops, like it, it, hits, like it makes a noise, and then Elias notices the dog <laughs> turns its head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you and this dog are staring eye to eye. Nice. <laughs> um, I'll imagine it. I was about to say, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, 3D6. Yeah, I started it. You can play her. <laughs> oh, and you're fighting a shadow master. Oh, okay. Ooh. Cool. Uh, so, uh, initiative again is three d six plus plus dex. Dex. Okay. All right. So six, eleven, uh, twelve, fourteen for Elias. Okay. Thirteen for Velota. Velota. I don't know. You don't know how to say it in the accent. <laughs> Velada? A lot of Velada. A lot of Velada. Freya and Ellen. Uh, Ellen got a 13. Okay. So, Hannah, it's 3d6 plus your dex. Dexterity. And um, 10. Ten. And I got. So, what would intimidation be? Would it be willpower? Strength and willpower? Intimidation is. Strength. Strength? Okay. All right. So, Elias, you go first. Okay, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do that uh, lupine uh, intimidation. So the, the the snout is gonna snarl, and I'm gonna start doing the growling. So and that's gonna be my first action is gonna be to intimidate. So I don't. So just um, make a strength. Roll. Yeah, make strength. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> um, okay, with strength, uh, that would be 12. Okay. We actually, uh, we'll be tied technically. Okay. Against that. Um, I'm gonna say he feels your sh intimidation presence. Doesn't move forward, but doesn't back away. Okay. All right, and Velasa, Velada, you're up next. You, uh, you're going to be like pretty far away from him. So it's like Elias yeah. is here and then like maybe 20 feet away is the dog. And then you guys are about like 20 feet behind him. So a good like 40 feet distance. Okay. Um... You're just up and run. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Get out of here. Uh, so are there opportunity attacks in, in Blue Rose? <laughs> um, uh, right there, I think there actually is. Okay. I, I'm definitely. Uh, I. Uh, I will. I will stealth and move forward. So I'm uh, just. I want to get as far as I can, but as quietly as I can. Okay. You're gonna um, like move next to Elias, or a little. Uh, bit? Yeah, um, because the, sh the shadow hound is further away from Elias. Elias yeah. is closer to us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then yeah, I'm going to um, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and stealth forward and try and be on the. Uh, uh, I'm going to say you're going to want to be more to the right of him because if you're to the left, you'd be closer to the left. Lineage. That's what I thought. Yes, to the right, please. <laughs> Uh, so do I? Uh, I'll roll a stealth check. I'm just 
just gonna let it be your movement. So that's your Great. turn. Sorry. That's my turn. Yep. Go. And I, I have my, uh, I have my, uh, my harpoon out and ready. But yeah. Remember, pointy Great. side that way. Ellen. <laughs> Kyle. Yes. Turn. I'm sorry. I'm trying to read and figure things out, and I don't. I know there's so much to know. <laughs> uh, 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 Ellen, with the dark robes, is going to wrap around and go for the papers. And so that's moving forward, however close I need to go to move the papers into my hands, which. Um, if we're, <laughs> I'm going to make things complicated for you tonight, Caitlin. Oh yeah. yeah! Apparently you do. I'm just going to let you all die at this point. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, hey! This is romantic fantasy. There's yeah, the right true. and wrong, and the wrong thing would be leaving these papers here to have more people trapped. I feel like I don't know. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, what I moving objects if it's less than two pounds or up to two pounds uh, I have to roll a nine or better oh I mean these are basically like paper it's like nothing they okay. weigh nothing. yeah okay I will roll then uh wow uh so that's another uh, stunt point with two twos. Uh, nine on the dice. Um, 13 and 15. Okay. You get the papers. As it happens, the shadow master howls. Ow! So even though you're there, the witches don't actually notice because they kind of like tune in on that and then ignore it. Like, oh, we probably just found a rabbit again. Oh, yeah, sure. That's Carl who says that. Oh, come on! That's Carl. <laughs> it's so tricky. Like, wait, Let's no go thing. watch, guys. It was fun last time. Yeah. Evil liches, man. Love it. Except for one. Grab the papers and I make my way back to the tree line. Yeah. <laughs> that one's like, I've saved the day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but I put uh, uh, Carl's. No, no, actually, I probably keep Carl's notebook. Yeah. I'm not that nice. Best call. <laughs> best call. All right. You figure out. All right. So the massive house. Ellen Power walks. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to turn around and notice them gone. That's why I'm power walking and yeah. not slinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I belong here. This is normal. Move quickly. <laughs> oh, incredible. I mean, I could set fire to a tree, too. I mean, I don't know. That seems like a bad idea, though. All right, Plus, so you... I think they're rock trees, right? Rock trees. Isn't that what you said this forest was? It was a stone forest, I thought. A stone forest. Yeah, it's called the stone forest, but they're actual trees. Everything's just... Oh, they are trees. actual trees. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Eleven. So the dog moves towards Elias, howling, howls, and then moves towards you. Sorry, I just did my math. Six. Eleven against your. It would be your defense. Right. Uh, your defense is my plus dex plus shield bonus. It says. Mm, I don't have a shield, so I wouldn't. I don't think a shield bonus would apply. No. So. Defense so, is baseline 10 plus your dexterity. Okay. All right. So that's uh, that's a 12. All right. So I try to bite. Instead, I because that just looked at me. Nice. <laughs> so right past your ear and you hear chomp. But I'm like right in front of you now. Right. Right. Okay. 
Wait. All right, and Freya. Um, well, you're far away. Unless you have something to like throw, that's well. Are we distracting? Like, I feel like they they're already distracted, and isn't at this moment they're turning back around. No, you're notice? attacked by a dog. The dog's attacking you. Okay, can I? Well, they're just still. They're still doing that. Yeah, um, like their eyes are closed and they're just dancing around. They're really weird. Maybe they they're just vibing. Them. They're just vibing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, oh, they're that soul what, movie. What does like? I haven't seen that. I ruined it for you. Can I'm I sorry. befriend the dog? Can I like go up to it and be like, is like, there commun- communicate? I don't know Good in boy. some way. Yeah. Yeah. So roll for communication then. Okay. I think, an, I think animism is a focus, which, which, but I don't know where that resides. I have uh, animism. It would be listed if you have it. Yeah. In which case, you just add an extra plus two to your check. I have 12. No. Nope, the tea's cooking. <laughs> what? Yeah, you, you kind of like it notices you. I don't know if it really likes you, but it's not against you. He's just like I'm safe for now. Pretty, and you're also what uh, the Vata, so like pretty mm-hmm. kind of senses this darkness in you, so it feels a weird connection that way. All right, I'll deal with that. All right, back to the top, <laughs> Elias. Uh, this thing just snapped at me. <laughs> snapped and then now kind of entranced looking into Freya's eyes. But you can't tell if it's endearment or a, I'm going to rip out your jugular type of look. Okay. <laughs> well, if it's not taking any further aggressive action, then... Uh, I'm not going to turn tail or anything like that. I am going to stand at the ready to hold my action to bite uh, if it moves towards Freya. So you're just going to... Hostile. Yeah, if it moves hostily towards Freya, I'm going to hold my action to bite uh, if it moves towards Freya in a hostile manner. Okay. Velata. Uh, okay, so um, I guess I will. So, do I see uh, Ellen running off with the with the paper successful yeah, in her adventure? Real stupid about it too, like, <laughs> and you're like, the oh witches are right there, and then Carl just. Well, how big is this mastiff? He's probably as big as size. Yeah. Yeah, because like wolves and mastiffs are pretty like they're pretty big. Okay. Um, Fluffy, black, ghostly looking appearance. We got that in common. We're, you know, we're both dark animals, so you know. Well, if I if um, if it's looking like it might rip out Freya's jugular, I am going to spring to action from my hiding spot and attempt to drive this my harpoon into its chest. Okay. Um, I will probably feel bad about it later, but for now, that's the action I'm going to take. <laughs> uh, so, uh, because I was hidden, do I do I? Uh, is it? Uh, do I get to add anything to this roll? <laughs> Welcome to DMing. Well, like D and Z, I at least know more from like, <laughs> this one. I'm like, ooh, because there's like your stunts and things. It's just yeah, like- yeah, yeah, yeah. 
um, could could I could because uh, I can take a minor action to aim, mm-hmm. so I can give myself a plus one. Um. So yeah, I mean, I think that's I mean that's what I'll do for simplicity's sake. So I'll, I'll like aim. Killing something says murder as a corrupt act. It's a shadow. It's a. I was about to say it's undead. So I mean, I'm just going around killing random people like someone does. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Oh, I see. I see. Yes. Uh, okay. So a fighting. Uh, okay. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, eight, 14, uh, 17. To attack me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, my dex is three. Does it have a higher dex than that? Nope. Okay. I get to add my pinpoint damage, uh, to it, which means I do an extra D six of damage. So I deal, uh, that is 10, 11, uh, plus so 11 plus 3 is 14. I do 14 points of damage. Wow. All right. This guy's uh, definitely bleeding. Goop. <laughs> Okay, since yeah. since Volata attacked, can I take my action at this point to attack too? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, oh, so sorry. so three d d six plus my dex to hit. Is that correct? Or strength? It is fighting. I think because there's fight a fighting score. Oh, yeah, okay. It's like an attack roll, like it says, like attack roll plus or something. Okay, um, I have no idea what that is, but nope, it will say not. like attack roll is accuracy or attack roll is fighting. Oh, okay. Uh, melee weapon bite accuracy. accuracy. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So. So you would roll your accuracy, which is <laughs> plus two. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah accuracy is one of your to, to my rolls. Okay. Yeah, it says like ability focuses. Okay, got it. Eight. Okay, 12 uh, for the attack. No. Ooh. No. Okay. So you tried to attack and said you can just feel or see the, the hairs on the back spike up like angry. Okay. Dog versus dog. It did not go down. <laughs> twelve to hit you, Elias. Yeah, twelve hits. Yeah. All right. Yeah, twelve is my defense. So, so out of anger, the dog bites you, doing. Seven damage. Okay. All right. Um. All righty. Uh, let's see. And then Ellen, sorry, we ha- rolled the same. Oh, we did. Yeah. Uh, watching Elias be torn asunder by this wolf. Ellen has feelings. Dark, <laughs> angry <laughs> feelings, <laughs> and they reach out with their hands, with shadows clawing around it and proceeds to squeeze the internal organs of the shadow hound using a sorcerer's grip, uh, which it is going to be, it's not contested, but you will make a, oh my gosh, why did, I took pictures of everything so it would be faster to find. All of my screenshots I sent. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was awesome, by the way. <laughs> I was like, I'm not home. You need to fix your nail polishing, yeah, just a little bit, do some touch up. Fix it. Oh, I... That much better. Okay, thank you. It was really bothering me. That's the only reason I didn't read the book. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, so you will make a resistance constitution stamina. Stamina. 
<laughs> Scan them out. I don't know, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, Words are hard. Uh, it's fine. Against what I believe is my my role, which is intelligence shaping, which you might be very Eleven? good at. Um. Sorry, oh. that's <laughs> intelligence a six to that, so that's eleven. Okay, so I beat you, and I beat my test number of eleven as well right. by three, which means you get two d six penetrating damage. Okay. Um, which wow. is eleven points of damage. I don't know. You might actually just have to make a save against the test number, which is 11, which would make it a success and you would take half the damage. Okay, so did roll. Let's go on the side of caution and say it's the test number 11 and okay. so half is five points of penetrating damage. I don't know. You make the call. I apologize. Um. I mean, I would player. just let you do the full points, honestly. The full points? Okay. Uh, now, because it's I did die. that, I have to roll two more times. <laughs> One to see if I corrupt my soul in doing so. I do not. That's good. And the other to see if I get fatigued from doing that, which I also don't, but barely. <laughs> <laughs> So okay. you're kind of you kind of like the child. You use your abilities, then you exactly. need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out a blue cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know macaroons were so rich. Macarons. <laughs> macarons. No, I'm going to say macaroons. I'm from the Midwest. I can pronounce. Macaroon like. has the coconut. All right, Freya, your turn. The dog looks okay. real angry. He's like, I know, like we did have a connection and I was planning on communicating more and maybe getting the dog to protect us while we went and approach the dancing people more. But now he's extra angry. So are we, we can't kill him. Is that what Freya like, says? That is. It's a question, but it's also a statement, yeah. Hey, you can kill whatever you want to kill. I thought murder was an issue. Uh, like said, I mean, they attack Shadow. They're, it's like an evil creature. Um, what kind of means to tie it up? Um, Not a wolf tie. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have my stick anymore, but I have like don't I had weapons. Yeah, you have, should have weapons. Or spells. Yeah. All right. We're oh, gonna, I I can punch. punch it. What? Yeah, I'll punch. I'll punch it in the nose. Or if you really got hard. like a rolled up newspaper, just <laughs> yeah. No, that's for like flies. Um, I'll punch it in the nose. So you're going to roll your 3d6. And I guess what that would just be is punching just, I guess, plus your strength, I'm going to say. Yes. 13. 13? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Ah, does this say anything for you guys, but you're straight up, like, Bear attack would be normally. I feel like it's a uh, for for like Elias. His damage is one d six plus three. So I don't know if that tells you anything. Yeah, Hannah, what's your damage? It's probably at least one d six. Um, one second. Yeah, one d six. Does it say plus anything or no? No, it's just that. Right, so then just roll the 1d6. Mama said knock you out. Ooh, sorry. Three. <laughs> okay. The wolf 
definitely can't move. It's like falling down to the ground. Oh. You kind mean of- the ma- the mastiff, <laughs> the shadow <laughs> mastiff. mastiff. Yeah, shadow <laughs> mastiff falls down. When shadow her- pupper. Was that you? No, it's a puppy. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Crying on the ground, still breathing, but can't move. Set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Elias, it's your turn. Do you want to do anything? Um. I mean, wolves kill the weak. I mean, <laughs> seriously. I mean, but you're a rye wolf. I was about to say, but I'm also an alpha. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm gonna try to finish it off. You're waiting for the kill. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, I guess I'll roll to attack you. Okay. Um, uh, 17 to hit. Hits. Okay. Uh, five plus three, eight points of damage. Oh, it's dead. You basically just like chopped his head off. <laughs> Let's say, yeah, yeah, do the dog kick, you know? <laughs> so, how do you guys? I don't know if you guys take corrupt acts for an evil creature, but I do want to say there's one that's called grave transgression, complete betrayal of a bonded companion, or murdering a unicorn. Yeah, so well, that, those were neater. Neither. We're not so. going to be successful on that. Tra- I proceed to squeeze the organs of Elias. What? <laughs> um. <laughs> So it's 15 the, tell. No, I'm kidding. Does the Shadow Mastiff, like, does it, when it is dead, like, does it remain? It kind of just leaves a imprint on the snow, like, as if there was a dog there. Uh, I, I, uh, Volado's like, oh, no, I did, I would, I wanted to get a tooth. And he, like, kind of looks at his, uh, he's got a tooth necklace full of this, uh, from, <laughs> from his various kills. Uh, that he's, from his hunt, his hunts, his hunts. Kills, you know, not not people. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of molars. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, but I, I'm pretty sure that. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. Uh, okay, so uh, I would look at look at Elias. Uh, if you you all right? Uh, I project yes. <laughs> I'm like yes. <laughs> Look Mad, at Freya. angry, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Freya, you all right? Yes, I'm good, thanks. I have some damage, but I mean, uh, one of my abilities is cure. <laughs> like yourself? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. We should, we should probably, uh, we should get out of here before anyone else notices us. We should just yeah, eat. We peek around a tree. Are they Carl still goes, dancing? Oh, yeah, and everyone looks at him like, it's not. <laughs> Look, I know Carl is your brother-in-law, but you really have to stop saying any of these events. <laughs> Why do we keep inviting Carl to these things? <laughs> I swear to God, Carl. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, rejoin Ellen. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Hey, tippy paws back to to, <laughs> to Ellen <laughs> and and yeah uh, and uh, Velada is definitely gonna uh, still on that train of being like okay so we've got those papers we should we got we should go back to the priestess yeah yeah let her know or we could take care of the rest of them no you're right I, uh... <laughs> 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 okay okay head back where you came or. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I think, so. I, th- I think we have some answers. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. So. Uh, I project. Uh, yes. Leave. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I agree. On our way back, can we try, can I try and magically pull the stakes out of the paper? You the tarot it. cards? How? Uh, uh, again, using move force. objects. Yes, with my force powers. Mm. I'm gonna say, you can try, but it's not gonna succeed. What? <laughs> He's like, what? You can try, but you're not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna roll three sixes right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, you can roll for it. See what happens. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Natural twenty. That's not even <laughs> real. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's a lie. <laughs> Natural sixes is all you can. Get. <laughs> So a natural, yeah. 18. 18. Did you actually get 18? I mm -hmm. actually got an 18. What are you trying to do with it? Use magic? I'm trying to move object. You move so... the tree. You Whack! move the whole tree. Well, now I can only, well, I suppose I could actually move. What is it? Yep, that's yeah, it. 500 pounds of mass with a roll like that. And uh, I'm just like, don't expect guy. me to fetch that <laughs> no you just <laughs> move and then it moves over like okay. as it just went did okay. it cry mm, no. it sounds like one of them's like oh oh, oh. 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 motion sickness <laughs> yeah, sorry move the tree back <laughs> let me hear it again shove <laughs> some dirt up around the roots so it kind of stays up yeah the what's it the uh one on not the priestess. What did I say it was? High Judgment, priestess. high priestess, and strength were the three. Okay. The strength one you notice there's like coming out of the bottom of it, like oh, this like greenish yellow slightly liquid. Definitely beat himself. <laughs> this is this is a horrifying situation. We should <laughs> we should get out of this spooky forest as quickly as possible. Did you try talking to the tarot cards? I did. It did not under. It did. I uh, did not receive words back, but I did comfort the one that I made cry. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Elias follows Velata. We kind of got this shaggy Scooby kind of thing going <laughs> on, <laughs> like Zoinks, man. <laughs> hey, hey, Velata, Scooby said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I always have snacks. Always. Always. So much jerky. So much jerky. <laughs> we'll talk. <laughs> uh, let's see. You guys walk back. Roll for perception. Okay. Yeah, that means you do. Ooh, get another ah. stack point. I got a lot of ones on that one. So I don't think I help. No, I have 13. Uh, 14. What do you mean out of memory, Adobe? That doesn't make any sense. Memories. Sorry. Um, uh, I got 14. Okay. Kyle. No, I wasn't muted. Six. Six? Okay. So everyone that Kyle notices... There's a card in your path that's ripped in half. And oh, blood on the side. Blood or mud? Blood. Mm. As you said. Oh to, no. You want to pick it up? Leave it. I'll pick I it up. definitely want to go look at it for sure. Ellen picks it up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of like you know, it's a. Someone say, so you had like a really gooey donut and you like ripped it in half. A jelly donut? Yeah, like a jelly donut. Like raspberry <laughs> filled. <laughs> it's not a jelly donut. <laughs> uh several questions. How many people have disappeared? And around were any 20. of them dog people? Dog. Oh, around 20? Yeah. Well, I'm wondering if the shadow people were actually living people, and by killing the shadow dog, we accidentally killed 
someone. No, no, uh, no. None of them are. Okay, in okay, okay. okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Elias so we, has got his paws over his head, and he's like, like oh, no. <laughs> and we all become corrupt, and we. <laughs> And then he joined the group. Yeah. Oh well, uh, off to Burning Man. <laughs> I just wanted to be nice. <laughs> Start doing the conga line. <laughs> so, uh, you guys go back, obviously, to Kana, and you can give her stuff. Stuff. I assume. I assume you're giving unless you're hiding it. I, you know what? No, no. I mean, I am, imagine. Yeah, we're we're probably going to give her. I mean, show the the tarot cards. Show the ripped tarot card. The uh, the book with Carl's the dancing. Notebook. Carl's <laughs> notebook. Uh, and uh, we believe that the people who disappeared have been uh, uh, captured or transformed via these liches magics uh, and trapped within the tarot cards in the woods but we grabbed their paper i don't know if it's magical in nature but they can't do it anymore unless they have a larger stack somewhere else ah yes this is good evidence and then she calls out sylvia come here and then a woman with a crescent moon on her eyebrow comes over and looks at it this call. These are definitely magical. Did you give her the notebook? Did you give her any, everything? Everything? I think we did. Yes. Turns Alan's still over. holding on to stuff. Are you still holding on to the? You're muted. <laughs> I am. No, he was. She wasn't saying anything. I had the notebook. I had the papers. Yeah, and then the uh, ripped paper. The ripped paper. Okay. Yeah, I had the tree with the tarot card on it. Do you notice <laughs> the that. woman with the crescent moon takes the stuff, walks off, meets other people that also have crescent moons, flip backwards through the notebook, and then start performing the dance moves reverse. Reverse. Oh, reverse. Okay. 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 Reverse. Reverse. Because they're witches. They're real smart. They figure this stuff out real Okay, quick. they are. They are witches, and they're good witches, supposedly. Right. right? So that's why they're doing the opposite of uh, around the tarot card. Oh, around the tarot card, the torn one. No, no, one of the the that one's dead. Yeah, yeah, it would be the torn one. Oh no, it's the torn one. You're right. Who tore it? You bring it back to life. What about the stack? What does it mean? Well, the stacks have nothing in them. So the yeah. one, so you notice it and there's kind of like weird magic stuff. And then, yeah, it's definitely, there's definitely a person trapped in it. They are not breathing right now. Oh, no. Or, and half their body's missing. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> can you fix that, Elias? Can you fix that? You've got the cure, right? No, uh, they're dead. They're dead. The person. I was dead. about to say, uh, cure, but re- yeah. this is this is like a raised dead kind of thing. <laughs> oh, okay. So, d- d- can anyone do the dance to yeah. undo the dance? You gotta learn to dance. You can do the dance. I asked the witches if we do that to someone who's nailed and glued to a tree. If they would come back nailed and glued to a tree as well, or would they just come off and be normal? It depends on how the nail has been put through them. Ooh. What do you mean? Through through the paper or them? there's plenty of tetanitis. Go through. It could be if it looks like it's through their eye. Oh, oh, oh terrible! Or is it above? <laughs> I, oh, think like, it was, like I think pictures? it was above. I think it was above. I think. What was it, Anna? Like on like the priestess one, like where the nail is on the priestess yeah. picture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where it is on the picture. Damn. Well, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I'm a pretty good dancer. So. Yeah. I would. Uh, How about we have these witches come with us? That's a great idea. They take yes. care of the liches. We yes. do the dancing. Witches oh. deal with the liches. They say liches. Oh, liches no. and witches. 
<laughs> what is that? What was that? <laughs> you said well, mute myself, they, well, ignore me. When, when we <laughs> said liches, they said what? Who? Me? The, the, yes, the witches. The, yes, the the witches. Told them. They said no, that's that's too powerful for us. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, well I'm glad we didn't deal with it. <laughs> Yeah, there were like seven. There were like seven liches in those woods. So that's oh, I, this whole town could just die from that. <laughs> we should we should move the town then. I we should probably oh, okay. not You guys are nomadic, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you're like like a, a couple days walking is what you did. Oh, yeah. oh okay. No, it, it would take the liches, they don't like come to this, they know better. Oh, so just stop getting people to go into the woods then is, <laughs> is what it's, it's pretty is pretty much the lesson to be learned. Put up some big signs that say, Do not enter, there are liches, you'll get stitches. And by stitches, I mean you'll be stuck in a in a paper for the rest of your life. Stitches hey, is a nail about this long yeah. that you can get <laughs> tetanitis from. <laughs> Oh, it's no. immortality. If you're in a paper, you can't age. But you can't do and anything then we other hang than up the cry. Hat ripped guy. <laughs> but you're Behold. easily terrible. <laughs> Still dead. Yeah, it's like you literally see this guy and his legs are basically just like, you know, you take it someone and their like organs are like oh, outside. <laughs> yes. I know that. I know what that is. Scoop oh. that right back in there. <laughs> Turn them onto the side so it's like a Bowl. Velada is not spilling out. Velada is like looking away from that situation and trying to put on a brave face. Spaghetti uh, body. They've been spaghettified. Why? Spaghetti. <laughs> 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 uh, horrible. Uh. So, anyway, got that any is- of that jerky? <laughs> Always. Always jerky. I'm not no, hungry. I've lost my appetite at this point. <laughs> eat the person. <laughs> no, no, no. I've got your. I've just. I. I got. I. I, I keep. I keep dried jerky. Uh, you know, dry, yeah. dried meats. When you never know when you're gonna Scooby get snacks. hungry. Scooby yeah. snacks. Exactly. Wolfie yeah. snacks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. Snacks. Elias snacks. Yeah. So, okay, we have come to the. 10 o'clock hour. We have, we are, so everyone can go to bed at a normal time. Unlike someone else here who does long campaigns. Oh, I you know, I know, know who that is. That's Carol. Carol does those Carol all the does time those. where she goes over <laughs> two hours. She's terrible at that. But let's not talk about Carol while she's not here. That's rude. And <laughs> only, only Carol would do that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> so, Real quick, uh, around the table, if this is where we end it, uh, anything else about the adventure we should know? Did we get through it all, or? I mean, you guys stumbled through it. it. Stumbled. I wasn't expecting you to be like, "Let's go to the liches and look at all this stuff." I was like, "Yeah, uh-uh. these look like dance moves. <laughs> Magic. Maybe we Magic should do it this session." <laughs> <laughs> Which was fine because two of the cards were actual people. One of them was going to be a fight, regardless. Oh, yeah. cool. Mm. Yeah. That would have been the upside down one. Yeah. Oh, no. okay. very cool. Which is fine. Oh, how, judgment. How, <laughs> how did we get them out? You dance. had the first dance. We had to reverse oh. the dance. So have you ever had those notebooks where you like. And it shows like oh, I made those. I made all those yeah. all the time. It's like that. So if you go one direction, it's that way. If you go the other direction, it's reverse. Cool. Mm-hmm. That's fun. I like that. That's a that's a very uh, that's a very creative little uh, yeah. thing. But I don't even know what to yeah. like a hook, a little yeah. creative little hook. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was it, it was an interesting adventure hook. Um, yeah, Blue Rose, I mean, seems like something I'd like to play, you know? Um, yeah, def- definitely seems, since my first time playing, mm. definitely has the potential to be really fun. Uh, yeah, I, I love the, I, I like that it has a mechanic for relationships in it, like for mm-hmm. building and, and, and pursuing those relationships and giving that a mechanical aspect to the characters really encourages that sort of uh, interpersonal 
relations. Which yeah, is, uh, so I think <laughs> at this point, yeah, Elias and Velata, I mean, would be building a relationship at this point, you know, because intensity yeah. like the suns. He had he yeah. had my back, I had his. So yeah, yeah. Totally. And when you guys actually build it, if you build relations with Bryden, you get special abilities and stuff in the game. So you actually get special things that happen from that, which is neat. Mm, very interesting. Very sure. interesting. Very interesting. All right, Hannah, do you have any final thoughts on Blue Rose? Would you play it again? Not I'm... here, obviously. This is Murder Hobos. Mm. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, I would play it again. I liked it. Um, I feel like it's hard to not fight something or like want to yeah like do that like it's really against the grain yeah 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 Yeah. and you got it seems like you got to be really careful what you decide to do because i mean actions have consequences like you said so especially with the corruption points and stuff Mm -hmm. like that so which is yeah different (laughs) from D D. you could basically murder anything there is no corruption points mm-hmm. into the game uh just the corruption points game. you have to take to saint whatever his name is at Cuthbert. the early gates yeah oh yeah yeah <laughs> uh saint well, peter what? saint peter saint peter Oh yeah, Saint Peter, yeah, Saint Saint Peter, Peter. at the Holy Gates. That's yeah. it. That's, That's it. the corruption points you yeah. earn from D and D. All right. All well, right. no, that was great. Blue Rose was fun. Mm-hmm, very. I would definitely like to try it again, but give me a month to read through the book. Exactly. It's a it's a, it's a big <laughs> book. It's, it's, it's a big book hefty. too, from what I heard. Yeah, it's a pretty hefty a, book. Yeah, I feel like Blue Rose definitely is more of a campaign per se than a one shot because it mm. is about what you guys just said, building relationships. We don't do that in a day. Normal. Oh, yeah. I do every day. New forcing relationships. myself on people. Whoa, no. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of forcing myself on people, uh, people who are watching, you can follow us on Twitch, Murder Her Blue Inc. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, look at our archives again. That's on YouTube. That's on here. You can look at all the uh, uh, talk about Blue Rose and uh, again complain about what our narrator did right, did wrong, complain about. What everyone else did wrong, um, <laughs> which is a lot. <laughs> which is just we all killed, of us. We killed something. <laughs> <laughs> you can find our RPG swag uh, uh, by clicking the link on the page there. Uh, again, a huge thanks to our sponsors. Sponsors. It's getting late for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, pirate dog dice for when you're rolling like shit. Get the dog poop dice of pirate dog dice. Uh, uh, and again, odd fish games for their adventure sense. When your game stinks, make it smell different. <laughs> and again, there's Shine Project, which is something they just recently released. Really awesome thing to read through. Uh, and if you're interested in joining a campaign, uh, there is a future one brewing in a month's time from now. Yes. Uh, otherwise, every single Saturday going on at this point is a bunch of one shots. So feel free to hit us up on Twitter or uh, uh, email us at mhoboinc uh, at gmail. Uh, and after that, I don't think I have anything more to say. Uh, narrator Caitlin, do you want the final words? Tell everyone to wave goodbye. Yeah, wave and kiss goodbye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs>